Friends, in this video for I thought advisor, I'm going to talk to you on the result season for Q2. As this video comes out, the first of marquee companies would have come out with this results for the second quarter. I'm mentioning TCS. As we progress, most companies will come out with their results and the good ones will come out with their results first and we will see a lot of companies coming out with the results towards the end of the result season. This result season is quite different from the previous result seasons. Investor confidence is at an all time high and optimism is also like never before. So companies have given us this confidence and optimism about their future and we are willing to buy companies at valuations which are progressively higher. So the result season begins with valuations of companies at a high, expectations of investors from companies at a high and companies giving us the feeling that they are very strong and very reassured. So that kind of a feeling is something which is rare for a result season given the kind of economic circumstances we have had over the last two, three years. So we need to see whether companies live up to the promise or fall behind or even exceed the promise. But our expectations are actually running a little bit ahead of what companies are promising because we do not have alternate avenues for investments. So we are relying very heavily on equity as the preferred or only asset class to make good for poor opportunities in other classes. So people are placing a lot of emphasis on equity, expectations are even higher than what companies are promising and we have to see how expectation versus reality maps out. That mapping is going to decide how we are going to reset our expectation because in every result season it is not just an opportunity to measure our expectation and measure reality versus our expectation, it is definitely an opportunity for us to revisit our expectations, reset our expectations, understand the management commentary, understand how companies stack up against each other within the same sector, understand how sectors stack up against each other within the economy and then refashion or reimagine our investing for the future. So in that sense, this quarterly result season is very, very important because it is going to set us up for how we are going to prepare for the next calendar year. We all know that interest rates are very, very delicately poised. They certainly cannot go down. That is something all of us know. But the question is what happens when interest rates go up? The other question is when will interest rate go up? And the third question is are we really prepared for interest rates moving up? This result season we should look at each company from the perspective of these three questions to understand how is this company positioned and how is our investment in this company positioned. Based on that understanding, we may need to undertake investment actions in specific companies which may run contrary to the popular market sentiment or the public mood. But circumstances being how they are, opinions being extremely polarized, optimism running higher than they should be and expectations being higher than what even companies promise, the responsibility of taking steps in reasonable time, being responsible for uh, ensuring that portfolios are healthier for the future is squarely on us and as investors, as advisors, as managers, we need to take a conscious call on several companies where expectation reality gap is more than we can accept. So first we need to set what that gap should be and we need to also understand how we will respond based on the actual performance. So this is a very, very critical result season for us and we should look very closely and we should use this result season to reimagine our investing because a lot of companies have run way ahead of valuation. The promise which companies can do is still very short compared to what the valuation is indicating. So in such situations where the valuations are run way ahead of future performance, we need to take a call whether we should still be in those investments. So it's a tough season, tough decisions have to be made, very tight measurement of numbers needs to be made. We need to be 
open in our assessments. We should not carry our past assessments into this assessment. We have to carry this assessment into the future. So that is our responsibility and it's a very, very uh, difficult responsibility and a tough one for all of us. So in that sense, this result season is quite different from past seasons and it is going to challenge us in the future. So let us all prepare for this result season. Enjoy it, share our learnings, fine tune our perspectives and prepare ourselves for a better year next year. Thank you very much for watching this video.